welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a review on a skincare product, hence I don't have a lot of makeup going on. So I'm talking about this brand which is super cheap, is herbal, made by a doctor I believe and uh, it's super awesome, they've got lots of cool products. I'm talking about Roop Mantra, I showed it on my Instagram story and uh, some of you have actually been asking like where will the um, review be, when will it be here, so here it is. This is actually made by Dr. Janeja, so it says Dr. Janeja's new Roop Mantra. They say, so they sent me three products, one is uh, the aloe vera face wash which is actually I'm out of it almost, second is the neem face wash and the third I don't have here because I don't know where I kept it uh, because I actually ran out of it, it was the Roop Mantra cold cream. We actually used it in Delhi during winters then we took it to Singapore where it was so hot but we used it there and then I think we left the bottle there not sure but that was a cold cream and well the cold cream was actually my most favorite product out of these three uh, I like my moisturizers to be a bit on the greasy side not too much but a little bit you know they should not feel too dry and it was just that it smelled nice not too much but it was just the perfect amount of scent in it and the tub I really like it was so convenient to just scoop the product out you could use 100% of the products otherwise with these tubes and all you have to cut them open then it gets messy so if you have a tub like that you can just use the entire product and get the most out of your money and speaking of money these are not expensive at all like this face wash is 83 rupees the aloe vera one this is also 83 rupees but like it's a super affordable brand it's herbal all the ingredients are like tulsi grit kumari leaves and all so it's like super cool uh, and it's made by a doctor so maybe it'll suit your skin so yeah i love the affordable and the herbal part of it right so let me talk about this so the cold cream was great bam you need to buy it i mean in the summers maybe not that much but for winters it was perfect uh, secondly the aloe vera face wash now it looks green This is what it looks like, light green jelly like, right? And smells very fresh. It's like they just got the aloe vera and just crushed it up and gave me this. That's what it smells like, you know? Smells very, very fresh, like green. Yeah, so it smells like that. Uh, it does not lather up too much. So at times, like in the beginning, I would take out a lot of it because I was like, it's not enough. And it won't lather up too much. So don't expect a good lather. It's a lather-less product, I believe. Uh, what does it do to my skin? This says it removes facial skin dirt, which prevents blemishes and pimples. It doesn't say that this will prevent it. It removes the dirt. So they are saying the dirt causes pimples and this will just take off the dirt. So you see, that's clever wording right there so if as it says removes facial skin dirt that's all it does you know it doesn't do much for your skin you know how I reviewed the clean and clear face wash I said it was good it doesn't do much to your skin and blah 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 that uh, as compared to this guys this feels more comfortable on the skin that takes off a lot of oil I know they uh, market it like that also but the clean and clear one would just leave my skin feeling very dry and not feeling good this feels very comfortable on the skin doesn't do much you're not gonna feel like oh my god my skin just got changed ever since I started to use it the only thing is that this this feels comfortable on the skin and I really appreciate it. It doesn't do much, it's just a face wash. Yeah, it's good. At least it doesn't strip my skin off. The clean and clear one is cheaper. You get the 10 rupee pack also, but it just strips my skin of all oils and I feel too dry. So not in love with that. About the neem one again, uh, this says it removes excess oil, deep rooted dirt, controls pimples and blemishes. So this does say that this does it. Uh, about the ingredients, it doesn't say that this has salicylic acid, which is what face washes have that are uh, centered to prevent pimples. But uh, this has neem leaves, so even the Himalaya face wash has neem uh, in it. So neem is what they are going for when it comes to pimple reduction and all. It removes excess oil, deep dirt and all. So yeah, this, when you talk about which one works more, this is like gentle on the skin, doesn't do much, but like what you need for a face wash to do, it doesn't. But this removes all that stuff. It feels like, yeah, you're doing something. And when I had a pimple on my skin, I was using this. It worked good enough. So yeah, the face washes, you're not going to see miraculous results. Uh, the cold cream though was freaking amazing, guys. It was not too, well, it was a bit greasy, but like not too much. The grease would just dry up soon and then your skin would be moisturized. So overall, love the brand. It's affordable. The products feel comfortable on the skin. I've just used these three though. So speaking based on this feels comfortable is affordable and herbal i mean 
what more do you need right so i really like this brand let me know if you've ever tried this brand uh, in the comment section below and what's up with that i mean there's a lot of quantity in this it's 100 ml plus 15 ml extra yeah so yeah let me know what are your thoughts on this and i'll speak with you guys in my next video bye bye till then